Hey guys, Havel Old here, and I'm bringing you a new update on Minecraft OP Hack, or M-O-H-S, if that's what you want to call it. So this is a new feature we've added. It's um, a customization feature called Package Sender. Package Sender can be found on right here on the OP Hack forum, on the same box as the scan button. It can be found right there. You just click it and it'll take it to the spots. So this should be used by advanced people only. People who know a bit about this thing. And basically what it does is if you want to insert your own packages, all you have to do. If you already have a package file, all you have to do is see wherever your file is stored. So like program files, blah 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 blah. And um, you can go there and do that. And then you click import, this is probably going to import instantly because there's nothing there. So even though it's not found anything, it'll still import. But it just won't work when you execute it. It'll say executed, but nothing will actually happen. So we're going to add a little reset button on both of these so you can reset it. So you don't have to just keep doing that. But re-importing it after it's been executed still works. And then you can execute it again. So that one just can stay like that. This, um, oh yeah, and one more thing, if you're importing your own custom package, um, sending thing, then you need all of these details, oh, sorry about that, all of these details that are required in this form have to be in your scripting, in your coding, so if you're importing your own file, make sure in the file it says server IP, Hamachi and everything, because that because when you click scan, it'll put these into our package sending servers and it'll just input it with the normal script to do it. But on this, you have to make your own script and do that yourself. But this is for advanced users, like if you want to import something different that's not OP, then you can do it straight from here. You don't need to follow the um, programs, what it's made to be. So you can do it here and start coding your own one. Um, we haven't worked out what the coding is called for package sending. We kind of just gave it our own name, which is called package package coding. We're not too sure what to call the coding because we've never seen a name for this type of coding before. But um, right now, this is just for development purposes only. It will be in the full release, but we may. We're probably going to keep it for free users, and but we may not. We may um, we may just keep this for VIPs, it just depends, we are going to keep it for free users in the first release and you can just execute a command like this but remember if you're going to execute the command say you're coding it then the server right IP has to be in there and everything because you're not going through the basic one which is here so that's all I wanted to show you, um, it's a bit of a customization feature you don't have to follow this one set for you um, the de the layer is already there for you. This isn't a very big box, but you can always go down in lines like that. Makes it a bit hard, but um, we didn't want to make this form too big. So um, that that's that one. So um, and make sure you follow us on Twitter. We are going to um, be adding a few more features this weekend, and um, we will never be doing a features update on the weekdays because I'm only here on the weekends. And the other lead developers don't make videos, so all the video updates will be on week end. Um, and but you can find updates on Twitter by the other developers when they're making problems. Like they scripted most of this themselves. I just put a few finishing touches, like made this box two lines instead of one because it was only one line, and just did a few uh, background scripting too to make sure it ran fine and didn't lag because when you um, send one of these packages it runs on our server it still runs on our server so you do not have to pay for your own package sending server so um, it'll still run our server now a lot of people have been saying to us package sending doesn't require a server it just happens on the program well that is for correct in some cases but wrong in this case it depends which way you're coding it. The way we've coded it is it runs on a proxy server, but it also runs on something called a package sending server. 
which allows us to keep a full database of like packages and uh, update it and stuff like that and it'll work a lot better and work on a lot more servers than it would do if it was just a client sending one because if you send it from a server it's a lot more undetectable and works on all nearly all servers um, well actually it works on all servers we haven't found a server it won't work on yet um, like I said, we're not going to be doing videos showing that it works yet until we are going to be near release and we'll do them videos. But for now, we are just going to um, show the new feature. So this is this weekend's new feature. We are going to add another new feature before the weekend is over. We don't know what it's going to be yet. We're looking at a few things. We're getting the VIP system done this weekend mainly. But other than that, that's um, all. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for updates if you want them on YouTube. And you should definitely follow on Twitter because um, we'll have a lot more updates on the weekdays. We have like six updates a day um, on what we're adding, what the new development team is, and stuff like that. Um, that's what um, happened on the weekdays. So on weekday, you definitely want to follow Twitter for the weekdays and this, subscribe to this YouTube channel because um, I'll be doing video updates ev nearly every weekend day too. So that's it guys, so yep, follow us on Twitter, subscribe for updates. I'll be doing another feature update today or tomorrow depending on how when we get this new feature coding that we're done. And then um, we'll just go from there. So, goodbye. Sorry about this guys, just wanted to make a quick few notes, um, just going to answer a few questions from the last video and say something. So the first question is, is the, is the program going to be free? Yes, it's going to be free, but we hope that some people will donate to become a VIP, which will get you special access to the whitelister and the unban program, and it will also give you um, access to the... Um, command bots on one of the forms. Um, we're going to add a form soon so we may give you some benefits on that depending on what we put on there. Um, another thing is we're, we're now um, opening our applications to a wider base. We're going to be, we're now letting um, people with any graphic design knowledge um, to apply for the program because we are now currently looking for graphic designers we already have a few but we're going to um, try and widen um, what we have because we're looking for program style graphic designers like people who can do buttons, text, text boxes, just stuff like that. So um, make sure you contact us by PM on YouTube if you want to apply for any of them. Um, so we're letting people apply for beta tester, graphic designist and developer. Developer is going to be the hardest one to get into because developer is will get you a full access to the source code of the program. But we're, we are soon converting this to C++. So if you want to apply, you can be a developer. For developer, you need to know C++, Java, or Visual Basic. For beta tester, you need... Well, there is no um, requ requirements for beta tester. But the main ones we are looking for is Vista, XP, any really old version of Windows. Um, we have already got a Mac tester. Um, we may need an Xbox tester, but we are not currently looking for one right now. Um, so that's what you want if you're a beta tester. And if you're a graphic designist, then obviously we require um, some graphic designing skills. So that's all I wanted to note, guys. Make sure you can't rate rate, comment and subscribe and follow us on Twitter and goodbye.